Our top story tonight at 6, the Tyndall Fields Affordable Housing Complex is getting ready for its final phase of an expansion project. 41 NBC's Tanya Motorzitski has more on how the project is helping the community. For about every three units of available affordable housing, there's 10 people on the waiting list uh, here in Bibb County as well as nationwide. So the demand is really, really high. Mike Austin with the Macon Housing Authority says with this project, they're really trying to change the narrative of affordable housing. We don't build affordable housing the way we used to. Um, in the old days, it was very typical of housing authorities to take a relatively small piece of land and put as many housing units as they possibly could on that small piece of land. And really, it doesn't matter who you rent to, but if you rent to a lot of people on a small piece of land, you're going to have a challenge. Phase one and two are finished, which include a senior living facility and apartment style units. Phase three and four will be two and three bedroom units. When we go into communities, we try to think about how, how would this fit into this particular community? How can we add value to the community? Uh, and, and attract more investment dollars. It's a $50 million project. Austin says when phase three and four are complete, it will be pleasing to the eye and community. Something that this part of Macon hasn't ever seen. Uh, you know, remember Tyndall Heights was built back in 1938, 1939, and it became functionally obsolete. In Macon, Tiny Motors, it's 41, NBC News. Now, phase four will start later this year and should be complete by the end of 2021. Mike Alston with the Macon Housing Authority says there's also commercial property on site and the hope is to attract a small grocery store.